My name is uh, Charan Pal Singh, uh, born in 1974 in uh, Nyeri. I uh, went to school in uh, Nyeri uh, Temple Road Primary, then Nyeri High. Then I came to DT Dobi for my college training, my apprentice, uh, where, I, where I took an uh, automotive mechanics course yeah. Yeah, for, for three years. Then I worked with the DTW for a while before I left to, to pursue my own career. Uh, I, I had an interest since I was young, but I, I, I started in 92, 93, sorry, I, is when I joined DTW. Yeah, but I was work, even before then, I was just working uh, uh, on vehicles, but not, not at, I'd not specialized on anything. Yeah. 2003 I had meningitis and I lost my sight. It was difficult because I was I'd given up hope completely. Yeah, but I, I remember listening to the radio and he, hearing what people in my own situation were doing, how they were going about their own their lives and everything. And I, I thought to myself there's nothing else I had learned to do but to fix vehicles and it's what I enjoyed doing. Slowly by slowly I started working on my own cars, first family cars. Then I, I slowly gained courage. Again I, I, I remember a newspaper interview about some some Portuguese mechanic who was servicing for, for Land Rover in the Paris Dakar Rally and he was he was also blind. I decided I'll I'll not sit and let my skill go down. It's something I had done for quite a number of years. So I know the parts of the car and just by feeling, yeah, I can tell whatever I need, what, what size of spanner by touching. I can tell if, if this is a size 10 or 12 or 13. Yeah, but basically by touch, um, I, I, I hear that once you lose one, one sense, the, another sense is enhanced. So I yeah. think, I, I have an advantage in that, though it's a little risky because some parts are, can, can really hurt you. And, yeah. uh, the fact that he's blind eh, leaves the rest of us uh, in awe because he's able to open the car engine. You know, using his hands and just his experience, he's able to tell what the problem of a car is. Like I, I would fix one car at a time and then my, that client would let another client know. The first job I remember, somebody let, let me, a friend let me do his timing belt. Yeah, and with his help, I was able to do the timing belt. Then slowly by slowly, I've, uh, I've been given several gearboxes which I've done, yeah. So gearbox is my favorite part of the car. Yeah, because I, I like it because it challenges my, my mind and but I, I enjoy working on the gearbox most. What amazes me is that he does so much, yet he can't see. And for some of us, those, you know, that's a privilege to do so much and you can't even see, because he can help out, especially with cars. And that's really complicated to know all parts of the car when you can't see and what is going on with the car. Like he helped mom one time, I remember. My car couldn't start. And for some strange reason, he was just standing there. And he just called out. He said, Mom, just open the gate. And I said, open the gate? He said, yes, I want to see your car. And there he was. He opened the boot, a few touches, and my car started. So, yeah, he's really friendly. He's accommodative. And he, yeah, he's inspirational. Challenges are those, those jobs that require sight like if you need to align marks and uh, things like wiring, those, those have become quite difficult now. Yeah, but if, if there's somebody just to guide me and tell me that this mark has aligned with this other mark, then it, it's, 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 it's possible to do most of the jobs on the vehicle. One, one thing we've realized, he has a passion. He loves his job. He loves his job. And you know, I don't think you can pluck him out of that if you were to, you know, probably give him another job. Yeah, I'm an enthusiast.
like we've just we were just fitting the steering system this is the power steering pump we changed the steering box it had a manual steering so we changed it to power steering i specialized on mercedes but uh, land rover is a passion for me yeah because we've always had a land rover since i was young and uh, but basically all vehicles I, I i i enjoyed servicing in the rallies but I, I have not done it since i lost my sight yeah i'm a i'm a motorsports fan the new models are challenging in 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 the electronic part only like on the electronic components yeah cars have changed much but uh engines and gearboxes and uh, differentials those parts remain basically basically the same so there's not much change on that that line which which uh, on the gearbox was my specialty and that didn't change much hasn't changed much although the the new gearboxes are electronic but the mechanical parts are just basically the same apart from the electronic components which i keep trying to up update myself on yeah i'm lucky because i've got very patient clients they've been uh, uh, they've been good to me and i'm extremely grateful to them he's been an inspiration as i grew up because i see him every day when i come from school and when i'm around at home and uh, yeah those are people you look forward to in society people who will change no matter what their condition is no matter how they are yeah. mm -hmm. thank you uh, and i think for the mother is uh, you know she used to be very low but when she realized this guy still has go, uh, my parting shot is like mothers should not give up. Yeah, because like Palo has really kind of put a kick back in the mother. And you know, now she lives uh, a normal life. There was a time she would not leave the house. She would stay with him throughout. But you can see this day she lives in there. She does her business and she comes back and Palo opens the gate. He knows how to navigate around. So I, I tell them to, to make maximum use of their skills, yeah? And uh, with God's help, everything is possible, you know? I'd, I'd, I, I'd also given up hope at one time, but I, uh, with the time, I've gotten, I've gotten back my courage and I'm able to do, to do, to do what I do. And, uh, I also know God said that he will not let he, anyone of his children beg for bread. So I know everybody has his, his uh, share. Uh, if, if only he works hard, yeah. he'll get what he, he deserves. Yeah. I think that has also given a lease of life to the mother. Mm. I tell them to, to make maximum use of their skills. Yeah. And uh, with God's help, everything is possible. You know? I'd, I'd, I'd also given up hope at one time, but I, uh, with the time, I've gotten, I've gotten back my courage, and I'm able to do, to do, to do what I do. And uh, I also know God said that He will not let he, any one of His children beg for bread. So I know everybody has his, his uh, share. Uh, if, if only he works hard, yeah. he'll get what he, he deserves. Yeah. And it's not also late to learn anything new. Yeah, we are able just like everybody else. Yeah. I would like to enhance my skills. Although this, uh, this, this career, you have cars are changing quickly. Yeah, so I'd like to learn about new cars and maybe settle down later in life, not manage to get a family. It's been a challenge, so for now I'm, I'm single. But in short, I'd just ask everyone to pray to God. Yeah, believe in, believe in his abilities. Initially, I used to, when I used to pray, I used to ask for my sight back. But these days I just ask him to bless the work of my hands and, yeah. and life goes so far he's been doing it and uh, i think he knows what's best for me so i ask him to 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 do his job and <laughs> i try my best to do what i'm able to do